Hey everybody, and welcome back to Pierce Gaming News. Hope you guys' day is going pretty good. It's Thursday. Thursdays are, you know, they're all right. But Thursday's Thursday, so you can't really change it. <laughs> but that means tomorrow's Friday, and Friday's the best day because that means Saturday's the weekend. All right, let's get right into the gaming news. The Elder Scrolls Online may require 60 gigabytes of free space. So, yeah, by pre-ordering the game, you receive a static theme based on the game, as well as an Explorer's Pack, which grants the ability to play any race and any alliance. An ex executive exclusive pet and bonus treasure maps. So, I mean, not only that, but everybody in the United States, I guess, will get Tamari Unlimited and enter to win a PS4 console. If you pre order, you know, the digital version, you'll get a chance to win a PS4. And yeah, the last piece here is, uh, PlayStation Store listed as, uh, 60 gigabyte minimum save size is required, suggesting it would be a pretty big download, you know. For the PC version requires a min minimum of 80 gigabytes. Now, I don't understand how it's so much, because, to be quite honest, <laughs> I mean, half the games on the PS4 aren't even that, that big. Like, they're, they're like, uh, 40 to 50, but 60 is really pushing it. I thought 50 gigabytes was max on a Blu-ray. And this is an online game after all. It's not like anything's gonna be special with it. I don't think. I mean, unless the game's gonna look amazing, which I'd, don't know if it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous like like any other game out there, but what I'm kind of get at is this is really gonna I don't know this is gonna push games to even be higher gigs. We have to get like four terabyte hard drives to play on the PS4. Hopefully this isn't leading to a trend. I mean, probably the more gigs on a disc, the better the game's gonna look and the more it can include, which is always a good thing. I like to get the most out. I can out of games, so I guess we'll have to see. I mean, 60 gigabytes, that's only a rumor. I don't, it's not even confirmed, but it suggests there's 60 gigabytes. So I guess we'll have to see if this is real or not, but look forward to that game, I guess, coming out. And this is pretty interesting. I'm a big fan of the Uncharted series. I'm sure you guys know that already. Uh, there was a trilogy listed for the PS4 for, uh, on a Swedish retailer called CD. C E D E. C D. It's a remastered. Uh, the page has been taken down, and the product description said Uncharted 1 through 3 in HD. More information soon. Now, I thought Uncharted 1 through 3 on the PS3 was in HD already. Pretty sure it was in HD. I don't know, I could be wrong. It was list listed for September 30th. And they showed a little picture here of the article. Uh, and then I guess IGN reached out to Sony for comment, but they didn't get anything back. So let's be quite honest here. Uh, do I care that there's a remastered version? Not so much. But is it a cool idea? Yes. Because I already played 1 through 3, so I don't have any use for it. I mean, the game was perfect as it is. And it's a good idea for people who came from Xbox 360 over to PS4 that didn't ever get to play the Uncharted series because then they'll get a chance to play it. And I guess in really high definition. So yeah, that's pretty cool for that. I mean, can't go wrong with that, I guess. And, yeah, I mean, hopefully it comes out, that'd be cool, Remastered Trilogy. The cover looks legit, but I, I mean, anybody can make a cover, so that's not too big of news. So yeah, look forward to that, maybe Sony will come out with something later. Maybe they weren't supposed to post it yet, but they did. Alright, and the last piece of news, this article's kind of old, it's from, you know, two days ago. <laughs> so really not that old. So, the world map for The Witcher 3, it looks pretty stinking big. And I guess the game's gonna have over two hours worth of content. So, I mean, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't wait to get this game because, I mean, honestly, this is gonna be one of the greatest games in life. I mean, I hope it's more along the lines of like, I know it's open world, or so they say, I hope it is, I don't wanna spend 60 bucks and it not be open world, but, I mean, this game looks absolutely like really nice. Even on the PS4, it looks really good, so, we'll have to see on that. I mean, only time will tell, you know? It looks, from the pictures though, it looks really, really big. I mean, traveling by horse, that's gonna take a while. Or ship, you can get a ship now and sail the different islands. I mean, sometimes I know, like when they make games, you know, 200 hours, 400 hours, it gets boring after a while, don't you think? I honestly think it does, so. And this guy in the article here said, uh, after spending two hours with a game last month, he doesn't even think he explored over 1% of the map. 
So two hours of one percent, that's a really, it, but who knows what he did. I mean, if he's like saying he went crazy and, you know, tried to explore, then that's insane. That'd be an insanely like sized map. But I just want to, I just can't wait to get this on May 19th. I mean, I'm probably going to get this day one, you know, but just that map size in general. I mean, I just don't want it to be so bare because Skyrim was pretty bare in between, you know, the cities and everything. So if they can make it like more lifelike and more things that are going on around you as you're going through, that would be pretty sweet. It won't look so boring. I mean, I'm not a very huge fan of fantasy, but this game has caught my eye and I played The Witcher 2 before. So, I mean, I can't really expect too much more than that, but I know the game's going to be a lot crisper and cleaner. So yeah, I mean, I really like medieval games, and I hope this game turns out to be pretty cool. I know it's a fantasy medieval style, but same difference, you know? But yeah, I hope they say the map is is as big as what they say it is, because that would be pretty awesome. But yeah. Alright guys, make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.